everybody welcome back uh, thanks for coming back uh, good to see you if you've subscribed thanks so much it's good times the channel's doing great thank you if you haven't subscribed yet why not subscribe help us out and hit the bell why not I never asked you to hit the bell but uh, I hear good things about the bell so hit the bell uh, just a quick little check-in video I'm going to show you some stuff we picked up this week and I uh, Sorry we're not outside, um, had to bring it in, neighbor kids banging on pans and stuff out there. Bring it in, you get this dramatic lighting and you get to hear my clock. So all kinds of bonuses there for you. If you like the clock, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So what are we talking about? Stuff we picked up the, oh, let's get business out of the way first. You know this is the last week for the subscriber giveaway contest. We're giving away a live music cache of items a dvd cd box set a cd of a live concert that's being given away to a subscriber who comments on that giveaway video look for the card up there that i put or in the description go to that video leave a comment odds you winning are really good because not a lot of comments so why not uh that's out of the way that'll be the last week for this if you're watching this after august 2nd of 2020 it's done you don't need to go ahead and leave a comment if you want but no more contest there is a thousand sub contest coming hot after that so look for that even bigger prize so what did we do last week for pickups we did some yard sailing went to some thrift stores so let's check that out first of all at the thrift store we get the big thing out of the way first i was uh i love going through the cords and stuff and uh, I saw this there, uh, Harman Kardon power supply, and that's always, ooh, people always need that. So I grabbed that right away. I'm going to need that. That can You can sell just a power supply for 30 bucks. So I grabbed that, and as I go down the electronics aisle, ah, aha, it was for this thing <sighs> right there. And if you guys uh, paid attention to earlier videos... You know, I've already picked up one of these. One of these is already packaged up, waiting for a sale on eBay. And, uh, geez, as I was packing it up, I'm like, I, I could kind of use this for the deck because it's really robust and uh, has a massive subwoofer in there, uh, mid-range and tweeters in here. It's Harman Kardon. This thing brand new was over 400 bucks. 400 bucks retail 10 years ago. Crazy. Uh, iPod dock which you don't need anymore but it has all of your inputs back here so you can go line in you can go video out if you have your iPod it's got a USB power pass through for charging as well as batteries it takes a billion batteries back there so I might keep this for the deck I mean it was less than ten dollars normally retails for like I said when it was new four hundred dollars and of course i'm trying to sell it on ebay for a, a fraction of that price if you want your own go check my ebay out on the yard sales not much happening out there not a lot going on but uh came across this one yard sale and this guy had like bins of stuff like he was uh uh you know a dollar store guy you know had tons of dollar store type inventory and i found this in one of his bins pretty rough but you got the enterprise in there and uh 1701a and say hey i'll take that for a buck I was like well i just i don't even know if it's if it's fine it looks kind of rough here so like, okay it's a yard sale so let's open it we're doing unboxing right now let's see if it is all together if my hunch was correct uh, it is kind of there's that one nacelle engineering section one pylon oh we do have a saucer section here saucer section looks good that goes on here somehow oh it goes right on there found the other nacelle I'm losing viewers steadily who don't like Star Trek but hey I love Star Trek and you're going to see if my dollar was well spent or not. And uh, there's big stuff coming after this. I, this might need glue. I 
can't get it to. Anyways, it's all there. Got the nacelle. Got the saucer section. And there is a base here. But what does the base... Hmm. There is a base, but... Yeah, you see, I got the base, but nothing nothing to nothing to put no pillar here to put the ship on. So I'm out of luck there. It's got some kind of book in here. That's kind of neat. Well the book is worth a dollar. lineup of the other models there. What a thing to be missing. The the post to go on the pedestal. Anyways. That box ain't worth keeping. Keep that. Um, if you see these at a yard sale, I'll grab that all day long. A uh, Korg guitar tuner because I'm always losing mine or it's the one I grabs out of batteries. And uh, God forbid if I have to tune it by ear like uh, we had to do 25 years ago. So always grab that. That was a dollar. Korg is a great guitar tuner and uh, they're so small. You can just hide them on the shelf somewhere whenever you feel the urge to grab a guitar. Got a tuner. Uh, another yard sale. They had a table that was um, two for a dollar. Two items for a dollar. And one of them was a video game I've been looking for for the Wii for a long time. Certainly worth more than 50 cents. This caught my eye. Super Mario, Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario. Say it right. Jeepers. There's the back. Jeez, taking a long time to focus. Even though this is a Nintendo Selects, it's still maintaining its value. It's uh, complete. It's in good shape. It's strange that he had this on the two for a dollar. The other one I grabbed to round out the dollar I took a chance on is a weirdo title, you know, that you don't see and in the back of your head goes, I wonder if that's actually worth something because it's so terrible. And I think if you guys look this up, you'll find that it is actually uh, worth something. Dino Strike by Zoo. So terrible, it's collectible, which happens with Wii titles. I don't know. So that'll be going up on eBay. I don't think I'll be playing Dino Strike. Just don't tell my little kid that I got it, or else she'll want to keep it. Now, on the two for ten table, he had. So he knew value here because the Zelda was on the two for ten uh, table. Twilight Princess. This is an extra for me, so I can compare it with the copy I have and. It will either be an upgrade or I will just sell this one to get a little money back. What's in here? Red, uh, big book. Two bucks. Yeah, French and English. So that was there. And as well, uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. I don't know anything about this game. I don't have it. I haven't heard too much about it, so maybe that means it's uh, no good. Don't know. Don't have it though, so nice and complete. Like I said, those were on the two for 10 table. I asked me, you got any other video games, you know, hanging around that you haven't brought, bothered to bring out? So yeah, I got a couple maybe inside. Give me a second. So he runs in, comes back with a little stack of PS2 games, Xbox game, and uh, a cartridge. I said, well, I'll take that. I love my cartridge games. Clay Fighter for the Sega Genesis. Not too bad. I'm trying to remember if I have this already. I, I don't know. And I'm a big Wallace and Gromit fan, so that was... I'll grab that just to try. It can't be any good, right? I don't know anything about it. I don't know if this is even what the value is on it, but 
I just grabbed it because I've been watching Wallace and Gromit forever. So I grabbed that up. Like I said. So then I asked, what did you want for this? So I showed him the stack. We had the two for a dollar. We had the two for ten. And uh, these two. And he's like, ah, oh, how about 15 bucks? And it was just random chance that I was jingling ch change in my pocket. And two toonies fell out of my pocket onto the pavement. I'm like, oh, it's, <laughs> it, it's kismet. How about $14? And he's like, sure, I'll take 14. Well, That's good stuff. So uh, nice little pile for $14. And uh, that was it. Not a lot of yard sales out there. So went home and that's been it. This is it for the pickups. Not very much this week. But I just thought I'd stop in, say hello to you guys, and uh, say how much I appreciate you coming on by and checking out the channel. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll catch you uh, next week with some more. Maybe hasn't been good so far this week, but maybe we'll pick up more next week, and uh, maybe we'll get back out on the deck, and get to see some birds and some wind blowing. You never know. All right, thanks everyone. See you next time.